We are speaking this evening with Kariso the Pope, an influencer, a social media maverick, and a content creator. Well, this evening he's emphasizing to us the power of the choices that we make. As a young voice, I'm certain you want to sit around and hear this part because majority of the people in our spaces, young and old, are still paying for the choices that they have made. So let's take this detour and learn from Kariso, the Pope, on the power of choice. Mm. Mm. It starts there. Yeah. So with the Pope issue, I was like, I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting to whatever that I... When I started all these things, music, motivation, mm -hmm. TikTok and all that, I always had a slogan that I've been... I've st I'm still stuck with, mm -hmm. that I talk for a living. Mm. And as such, my voice is an invoice. Of course. Which is to say, for me to talk, we must now talk in voice. Mm. Someone will be saying, how possible is that? How different are you from other people who do motivation? I was like, that's the thing. Mm. I talk for a living. If you just understand I, mm. already I'm telling you about me. Yes. Then we don't have any discussion to have. I, about, I can't answer what other people are I'm doing. I'm telling you about me. Me. So mm. it stuck there. If people would understand that anything that you do, you're doing it for yourself. Mm. Not for anyone else. Not even for your wife. Mm. I understand women will be saying, ah, I'm doing this for my kids. It's another different story. Mm -hmm. But with men, relationships, workplaces and all these things, church and all that, do you. For you. Your people will come. That's oh. why they say, what is for you? Will come. We will, will find you. you. will find you. Mm. If you do things for, so that you socially feed, for people to love you, you will do right things and people will still hate you. Mm. You will get depressed and you kill yourself. Mm. Mm. So mm. do you. This message that you are, you know, advocating for, uh, with the motivationals, do you take it to the schools as well? Because I yes. think I think that um, one of the reasons why we are not winning the battle with mental health is that we started too late. We started too late. Yeah, we started too late. We should be at the level of, at, at at a point where children are in school, starting with the curriculum that they are dealing with. Mm -hmm. We start with the mental health, teaching them simple things like boundaries. True. Teaching them simple things, how to respect yourself. True. Teaching them simple things like how to address to uh, someone and allow that person to address you. Teaching them simple things like what is your language of love? Mm -hmm. When I say I love you as your parent, what do you see me doing? What do you see me yes. doing? Yeah. When you say you love me, what is your understanding? That's where we can eliminate issues of, uh, uh, you know, premature sex. Yes. And when we educate and educate and educate. So is this message being driven? At the right levels. I think we're still making our way there, but we are okay. For me, I'm already tackling schools, yeah. pay invitations and bookings. I get there and I become as direct as I can, yeah, with the either learners and or students mm. because I'm forever preaching the message do you. Mm. There was this instance where I'll share it now. This, this guy had gone, a hunter had gone into the field with dogs, then a, 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 one dog. Uh, it catched uh, a rabbit. Mm. Now, I think the the hunter and the dog, you know, they missed each other. Now the hunter went home with the other dogs. Now mm. one dog was left in the field. Now the dog had to chase that rabbit until it caught it. Mm -hmm. And then it had to take it home to the hunter. When it was making its way home, other dogs saw it with the rabbit. Mm. And had it with its teeth. It's navigating its way home. Now, the other dogs were barking at this dog. Barking at this dog, trying to attack it on the street to home. Mm. They were busy attacking this dog, trying to bark at it. And the message was, these dogs wanted the dog to drop the rabbit. Mm, so that they could pick it up. So they could pick it up for yeah. themselves. So to say. Same goes in life. Mm. Most people that criticize us do not really necessarily criticize us because we are doing wrong mm. at times. They oh. want to drop what you're having. Oh, they yes. They pick it up for themselves. Oh. So if you profound. understand what you are carrying mm. and where you are taking it to, let them talk. Let them back. Mm. You are making your way home. Mm. The very instance I'm giving, the dog got home, dropped the rabbit at the hunter, and it went back to the street. To yeah. the dogs that were back in to say, now let's fight. Yeah. I've dropped what was important to me. Mm. Now let's have 
a fight yeah. that you wanted. Mm. So with people, whenever you're carrying on a good thing, maybe you're holding on something, you've started a business, you're doing this, you're trying to make a living or a life for yourself. Mm. Now you listen to your talks, people are backing, people are trying to, you know, depress you, demotivate you. We easily get demotivated yes. by what people say. Yeah. And it does not matter. Mm. Mm. I'm saying live a don't care life of what people say, but do you. Mm. Anything that is, that is working for you, do it. Mm. Because you would even get critics from the church. People have left church because of talks in the church. It's like, how do I get to church? Such and such a person is talking mm. so ill of me. But in did a you church. come here for that person or did you come here for Christ? That's a nice question. Yeah. Did you come here for Christ? If you go to hospital and you know you are sick. Yeah. Are you going to leave? Where do you base you your interest at? Your doctor or the one next to you? Yeah. Because you're all sick there. Mm. I've, I've been saying this thing to say in life you're all sick. Mm. Same thing when we go to church. Mm. Sick people are there. It's a mm, hospital. Mm. We are there for our own. Someone has flu. Someone has cancer. Mm. How do you laugh at pe another person when you have one leg and I'm laughing at you for having one eye or maybe? Yeah. Mm. yeah. How, how, what, what's the difference? Mm. Because we are all sick. Mm. So if you understand that, mind your own business. Just that with people, people cannot mind their business. Mm. But mind your own. Do mm. you. Do what works for you. We'll get somewhere as a society. Yeah. Yeah. How do you... Um, stay relevant you know um how do you how do you make sure that you, you, your content doesn't lose flavor true and um also within the the, the 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 perspective of addressing current issues you know it's pointless if if, if right now uh, the rugby cup was playing and, and they won mm. and then you want to talk about the loss of case achieves no mm. it won't work mm. thank you for that one I, i'm thinking in fact i'm not even thinking it's like that mm. My content is very relatable. Mm. So I look at what happens that it will never get out of fashion. Church, mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. marriages, relationships, politics. Mm. These are some of the things that carry life. Yeah. They make life go on. So you sit down, you think, okay, men. What do men struggle with? Mm. Women struggle with money. I mean, men struggle with money. They struggle with women. Okay, mm. what do women struggle with? Then you look at these aspects where people are now, they are more invested in. Then I make my content out of it. Mm -hmm. There's always church. There are forever marriages. There's for relationship. Yon. You see relationship. It's a pandemic of life. Uh, pan for as long as Ish. there's life, mm. and there will forever be relationships. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. will forever. <laughs> New generation that is yet to come, they will yeah. still have people. <laughs> they will go through a lot from mm. relationship. Mm. So I think we get, and then with the, the current example to say rugby has won. Mm. Great content could come out of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As the Pope of South Africa, I could just get there, record, put a prayer there and ask Angel Michael Gabriel, thank you for South Africa having won. Mm. And then it turns mm -hmm. because everybody was on it. So you need to stay very relevant. Mm -hmm. I think it's with music, you check what is working. Uh, and with content, one thing I love about content is you decide mm -hmm. what to show people. Mm. Because with music, you can, if you have this style, over time, there's a new style introduced. Yeah. There's yeah. a new kid in the block. Now people shift to the new, you know. But with content, you look, okay, there's this, there's this. Women, whenever, if there could be a trend of parents suffering or having struggling uh, with children, then you put a content around it. Mm -hmm. So you just forever look at things that are trendy. Or rather, things that keep life going, then you make your content out of it. Or I make it that way. Mm -hmm. That's how I, I, I manage to stay very relevant. Mm. This question, mm. very critical. Very critical. How do you stay relevant without compromising your faith? How do... And I'll come back with another yes. question. I've okay. got that one. Yeah. Okay. I think I've seen it with the eye of work. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance... If I'm, if, I'm, if I'm giving out a content of a man with a woman and a woman is wearing short, you know, short dressing, they are revealing their body and all that, it's compromising my faith. Mm -hmm. But I've, I've seen it in the sense of one being an actor. Okay. You're working. Mm. They give you a script. They're okay. telling you this episode we are playing gay. And it's against your faith. Mm -hmm. But it's work. Mm -hmm. So you would have to, you say it in the perspective of work. It's like, okay, it's just to work. God, let me just work. This is the very job that puts, you know, a bread on my table. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I look at it in the perspective of work. Mm. And I also know why I do it. Because I think it also, be, it goes back to relevance. Mm. If there's an issue that you want to address, be as practical as you can be. 
It's the same thing when you find a pastor in a pub. Mm-hmm. It's different when you find them drinking. It's different when you find them there. Mm. Unless maybe if you want me to take it to, to biblical references where God was saying, go ye into the world, mm-hmm. make souls. Mm. You ask yourself, where is the world? Yeah. Then a larger you know, a percentage of people, they're out there. Mm. At night, they're at grooves, they're at pubs and all that. You get there, you find people drinking, you're asking them, you don't look all right, what's your problem? Mm. I have problems, my wife this. Some are drinking because they have problems. They are, and you get yeah, there, it yeah. could be a right chance to you know, speak messages of hope to that person. Yes. But yes. your solution is not in this spot. Mm-hmm. This could be your solution. Mm. Do you understand? So it's, it's, it's not, I don't say it in a way that I'm compromising my faith. Mm-hmm. I'm just maneuvering a way around it in mm. a way that, I think at the end of the day, the catch is winning the souls back to God. Yeah. Preaching the, the, the gospel of Christ. Yes, I may not yeah. be in a pulpit, but mm. I can go out yes. and preach the gospel of Christ mm. in best way possible. For as long as you can use whatever mechanism and you reach one soul, mm-hmm. you are preaching. Mm. So I think instead of seeing it as compromising my faith, I'm just using a different route of preaching mm. that I get to people and it's working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As a follow up question, yes. how do you, you know, there's a fine line for you mm-hmm. as a comedian. You say church is one of the, of the issues you're speaking to. Relationships amongst mm-hmm. others. So how do you maintain the integrity of the church and, um, you know, cast the spotlight on serious issues that are happening within the church, yet maintain the integrity of the church as the body of Christ, as Christ who sits on top of the church? I'll tell you, this. one woman said to me um, fairly early into the show, Mm. Um, we had a few episodes out and then she, she said, I love your show, but I don't like the fact that in one particular episode, you kept saying the church, the church. And I said to her, any organization or body or institution mm. that is not willing to look within itself, mm. you know, to um, constructively question itself, True. you know, to constructively criticize itself, look at the direction that it's taking, to either come back and say, hooray, mm. we are winning there. We are winning. Or to come back and say, Mm-mm, we are missing it here. It's an institution that does not want to grow. True. Mm. Very true. So on your part, how do you maintain or answer those people who say, hey, you know, you're, you're making people, hey, you're standing with the sinners. Like you're taking sides. Yeah, it's, it's like you're, you're stripping the church. You are... There, there are people that refuse to grow. Mm. And there are those that have centered church to be the building. Mm. The reason I'm saying this is because answering the question, anything you do, you must have an aim mm. or a goal to achieve. At first, there with my content, it was difficult that how, how is this guy making content with church? What's fascinating about church? Mm-hmm. But if I tell you today, everywhere I get to, everybody wants to be with the pastor. Everyone to, wants to be with the Pope. But they want, everyone now wants to associate themselves with the content and church. Mm-hmm. Because there are things that you can never run away from in life. You can never run away from church. You can never run away from God. Mm. Despite wherever you are. Sometimes, like, I'm giving an, ex- an example that I'm shooting content that has nothing to do with church. Mm-hmm. Maybe 10% of people know me to be a church guy. Mm-hmm. How does this guy now do such things? How about he's exposed in the church? Mm. Or is an embarrassment to the church? Mm-hmm. Such a person should look at that content that they are watching until end and tell me the message they pick out of it. People are stereotyped in the sense that for as long as it's preaching, it has to be in the church. On the whole court, yes. But if it's elsewhere, ah, it's no longer church. Hence, I'm saying, you can talk, for as long as you can, I can talk to you like this, mm-hmm. Mama and, Shabby, say, and I get to your soul, I encourage you without yeah. having to talk about the Bible. Without quoting a single verse. Without quoting a, a, a verse to you, mm-hmm. but I've spoken to you and mm-hmm. I've healed you in something. Mm-hmm. That is God's work. So if you come and tell me I'm stripping the church, how? Because I'm still doing, the, God said, go into the world. Mm. This is healing conversations. 
How do you talk about healing and not talk about God? Mm. How do you heal people without, you know, directing? But we are not, in as much as they are doctors and whoever, they do their job, they leave the rest for God. Mm. So even if when you're a doctor, you can, you know, treat your patient, prescribe them medicines, yeah. and you pray. The God takes charge. The source of healing is God. It's God. Mm. So there's never a way you can strip church out of things that you do, unless if you're intentionally doing it. There are those that want to spoil the church. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You make people pay, you know, mm, the prophecies, mm. give me 10 dollars, let me do that. Mm. The, those ones are there for financial gain. We have such a, a group of people. Mm. But with what we do, what I do, I get to be very, very vigilant about it to say, I can be funny, I can be a, a bit explicit, but at the end of the day, there's a message. Mm. Back to the English. Mm. Concise, but comprehensive. Okay. Mm. It has to have a comprehensive message mm. at the end of the day. And there's also a message there for the church. For the church. Say, let's get our house in order. In order. Yeah. Let, Sometimes let's, you let's... could be reprimanding the church. Mm. There are pastors who are busy after girls in the church. Mm. You understand? Next thing, girls are raped by pastors mm. in the church. God is not pleased with such things. So if you are sending a message, a strong message to the church to say there are pastors who do this. Mm. If you are one of them who does that, it's like, hey, we are getting exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to stop and change my ways. Mm. Let me just do things by the book, mm. you know. So sometimes we even such, uh, send reprimand to the church. Because if the church is not in order, mm. Jesus Christ once got into a temple and found people silly, mm. kicked the tables was putting order in the church. Mm. So it tells you there could still be disorder in the church and now order has to be maintained. Mm. We are not only sending messages out to people, we can still send it back to the church because it has to be a hospital. It has to heal people. Mm. Not that people should be hurt in a hospital. Mm. So we cannot strip church from what we, or I cannot strip church from what I do. My content is about people, it's about souls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, being funny about it is just, you know, a way of getting through to people's hearts and souls, but a message will be delivered at the end of the day. Mm. And it will heal someone. Mm. Let's talk about your own relationship with Christ. Yes. Where is that? Um, like you're saying, own relationship with Christ. Mm. It's a personal relationship. It's a personal. I'm asking it intentionally. Yeah, it's a Because I, I want you to, you know, um, my view is your... your you have quite a, 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 you know, you, you have quite a following, mm. and whatever you do influences other people. True. And then whatever you say as well, you know, has a, 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 a you know, attraction, so to speak. True. So at the end of the day, someone is looking at you and looking at your 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 success. Someone is looking at the ability with which you deliver. Someone is looking at you and they 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 love what they see, but. There is an engine behind it. There's an engine. There yeah, is an true. engine behind it. And, and for me personally, in my own personal life, it has been God. It always is Christ. And forever be God. Yes. So whenever you look at the success of someone, let's not be oblivious to how they got there. Yeah. There's an engine behind there it. There is an engine I behind it. I always say that I get booked at pubs at, uh, you know, yeah, let's take pubs for mm. example. You get there, you find people are drinking. You know, it's it's known to be a space where it's like it's not godly. Yes. You cannot find people that are saying they know God at that space. But say you are booked, okay, say I'm booked there to come, you know, as a hype man or MC there, whatever event they are having. Maybe they've gotten, these days they've gotten to a level where they can even book gospel artists to come perform at Groove. Mm. Now they book me as an MC, I'm getting there. If you check... Close around your 12 a.m. one. Mm. Even the DJs change the music to gospel. Mm. You'll see a new atmosphere in the building. Mm. People will be connecting to God. I get their drunk. Yeah. Now the souls soul are will, crying. Yeah, the spirit man the spirit is, is crying. The talking to who you are. Yeah. To say, when you, have, you are drinking, but you have a problem of one, two, three things. You need God. Yeah. You don't need to be drunk forever. Mm. Then you get there as an MC, you say, okay, let's pray. Before we go back, let me pray for you. Mm. You know, they'll, 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 some will be rigid. rigid they can't pray yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. So let me just say a prayer. Even if you don't necessarily pray, mm. you say, no, God bless you. God take care of you. Going back, be safe. God, God loves you all. Mm. You just give them a message of hope as mm. you're busy MC in there. You will reach someone. So yeah. When you're done, someone will come to you. Whatever that you said there, I feel it was for me. Mm. So I get to be very smart about it. Mm. The Bible says we must be very smart as serpents. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You must know your ways around things and how you do that. Yes. Because at the end of the day, what's your goal? It's mm. back to what I was saying. What do you want to achieve? If I'm going to groove, yes, it's work, I'm booked, it's money, but at the end of the day, I'm still going there to reach more souls to God. What can we change, you know, to reach people at 
the level where they are? What can we change? How do we do things differently? Personally, I think that, um, you know, I, I've been in an instance where I was divorced mm. and I heard how God hates divorce. No one told me how God loves me where I was. Oh. No one told me how God loves me even in the difficulty that I was facing. So in a way, I, I, I was looking from the other side and thinking, I think I need to fix this mess first and then I, I'll, God can love me. Come as you are. Yeah, God can love me. Mm. Come as you are. I love it when you say you had no one to tell you that time. Mm. If you had that one person, things would have even been much better. Mm. Because I think, okay, this is what, let me answer the question. Let's leave judgment for God. Mm. Let's take it from the church to the world. We are also sick. I said that we, forever, whoever that is in church is a sick, is a patient to God with your own way. Mm. Now, let's leave judgment for God. The problem that we have is if I find myself in the church or if I start believing as if I know God better mm. than my man Tabi say, mm. I feel I'm now in a position to can judge her. Oh, yes, I'm no longer a product of grace. I'm no longer a product of grace. Yeah. I've graduated. Mm. I have a PhD in the ministry of God, mm. which is very raw. You understand? Now, we must do away with judgment. Mm. If you are helping someone, help them. And then leave the rest for God. Yeah. Don't judge them. Mm. The reason why people are having problems with the church, you know, some have gotten to a level where they have problems with Christianity as a whole, is judgment. Mm. Judgment, jealousy, competition, all this aspect that you find in the church. But I think what we can do as the, as the church structure mm. is trying to say, let's have this mentality of church being a hospital. Mm -hmm. Because patients do not come and doctors judge them. Mm. They come and doctors treat them, mm -hmm. they help them, mm -hmm. they go back. Mm. So churches like hospital, like I'm saying, you get there, if you are sick, you get prescribed to whatever. If you are healed, they discharge you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So help those you can help. Whoever that you can reach and you give them messages of hope, whatever help, that whatever sort of help that you can render to them, do it and discharge them to God. Yes, yes. Don't judge them. Mm. So if we just change issues of judgment and issues of jealousy, mm. But isn't someone going to say, when we speak the word of God and we say, the word of God doesn't condone this. Mm -hmm. God doesn't agree with this. Mm -hmm. um, as Christians. Mm -hmm. Then the word says we are judging. It's Where do we draw story. the line between speaking what the word of God says and, and judging? It's a different story. It's like a parent trying to train up a child. Mm. You tell them, I don't want this. It's clear you don't want that. Mm. The kid will know, mama does not want this. Mm. Now, in the church set up, God hates divorce, for instance. Mm. That's where we draw the line. Mm. God says he hates divorce. divorce. Yeah. If you are that side and you have your own reasons to get divorced, we are not that side. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is you there. Mm. You will, now, beyond that level, it's you and God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The problem with us is that we'll say, God hates divorce and that we even want to infiltrate into a marriage. You want to know why you are divorcing. Don't divorce or do this. Don't do that. Mm, mm. That space is for God. Mm. Church will give you, this is this. If you do this, God says, I've given you the options of life and mm, death. Mm. I advise you to choose life. Yeah. But the power of life and death lies in your tongue. tongue. Yeah, your tongue. So God gives you a solution and leaves you with a choice. Mm. So same goes with the church. This is... What God wants. Mm. God says, do this, don't do that. Yes. But educate, beyond that, educate, educate, educate and teach, go back. Teach, teach, and say, we have taught you. From here, that's you. Yeah. So yeah. I think we should get it at that level to say, we are like messengers from heaven. Mm. Like in the, in the sense of pastors, God sends, you know, his servants to his people. You deliver a certain message. It's like when you get to church and you, you preach a message that you feel is interesting you as the pastor. But God will tell you, for this Sunday, tell my people this message. Tell them I said this. Mm. For as long as you say what God said, say to them, you have done your job. Yeah. Beyond that, it's beyond you. Mm. It's for the works of the Holy Spirit. It's for the works of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Leave it for God. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Even doctors, they do not heal you. They treat you. Mm. They prescribe medication for you. You take your medication. Whenever they think you are okay or they say you are fine, they discharge you. Mm. They are done. So with us, let's prescribe by the Bible, by verses, 
God says this. This God is says, the word this. of God. This is the word of God. Mm. And we discharge the God. Know it. I've done make my your choice knowing the word of God. Yeah. Period. Mm. There we have it. It's been a thought provoking session. No doubt we have learned so much. We have been encouraged. We have been, um, I want to say entertained, but we have been actually educated. You know, um, I'm a firm believer that there's room to learn. Always there is room to learn. And what I'm drawing from this young man is that mental health, or rather comedy, has a space in mental health. So occasionally to take the time to laugh at yourself, to laugh about the experiences that you've been through. When you do that, you might just realize they were not as serious as you thought they were. They have not taken your life. You have not killed yourself as yet. Mm. Simply because in hindsight, you have come to conquer. And you don't realize the victory until you start laughing. In that laugh, you will just see the greatness of God. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord keep you. May his countenance shine upon you. Amen. And may he bless you in every way. Let's meet again next week. Bye. yourself a copy of our latest books, The Mending of a Broken Vessel and Maintaining Your Joy, a journal for daily positive living, visit a bookstore near you.